Hello everyone, I am Amit from Mail Smartly. Today in this video, you will learn a very important topic of Microsoft Outlook is how to create and add a customized signature in Outlook application. Not only that, I will expand this topic and show you how you can add your links, you can add your Facebook links, your Twitter links and also a new feature which is QR code with your signature in Outlook. So first of all, as a disclosure, I am using Microsoft Outlook 365 and I am going to open a new email. Signature is normally added in Outlook even if you are creating a new email or you are replying or forwarding an email, the signature will be added with a single click in Microsoft Outlook. In the message tab, there is include section. Here is your signature. Simply click here. Now, you have to again click on the signatures. See, signature and stationary dialog box appears. So, from the top, email account. So, when you click here, you will see multiple email addresses in my Outlook. I have added multiple email addresses. That is why Outlook is asking me to select a specific email for which I want to create my signature. In your case, if you have only one email, then you won't see this drop box. So I select this email address. Now I have to click on new. So type the name of this signature. So I want to name my signature. I used name personal and hit OK. Now the signature name is added. Now the next step is I have to create the signature here. So taking this very lightly, I simply create my signature regards Amit Kumar Bansal. And I will add my designation, say manager, audit. If you want to add your company name, you can add it, say masters. And even you, you want to add your mobile or some contact details, you can add it. And you can also add your email address here. See, it's a very simple signature and the email address is already converted into a link. It's a very simple signature. Now, the point is you can change the font select the entire signature or you can use control A to select it. You can change the font. See, you can change the font size. You can bold it, make it Italian, underline it. You can change the color or you can align your signature with the three options here. Now, if you think your signature is ready, you don't want to add or modify your signature, you can simply hit save. So now your signature is saved in the personal. Now, the next point is Choose default signature. So if I want to create a new message, I want this signature to be associated with the new email sent from this email address. So I select personal here, the personal which is I have already created. I have selected the personal signature here. And if I want to reply and forward a mail, and I also want this the same signature to be associated with this email ID when I reply or forward, a mail simply hit ok and that's it this is the very basic method to create and add a signature in outlook so when i create my new email i can simply go to the signature and add this personal so see i don't have to type or do anything else just simply go to the signature and hit personal so my signature is added in the message body now the point is if i want to add some additional information on my signature. So again, go to the signature and I want some additional information here. So what kind of additional information? For example, I want to add my URL. So I simply type my website address, which is mailsmartly.com. And I have to add the link of my website here, select the part and simply go to this option which is insert hyperlink you simply have to paste your url in the address section so i just paste it here simply hit ok now you can see your website address will be linked with your url so it make it lot more interesting if i add my handwritten signature into this signature so first of all create a space so I just want to add my signature above my name, select here and on the right, up, there is a option where I can select my picture. 
So here's my signature and I simply select this and hit insert. So look at that. I have added my signature into my signature. Let's look awesome. So next, what about if I want to add the logo of my company? So it is very difficult to add it all the information here. So I simply hit OK. And on this page, I simply select the signature and it will be updated. I can add my company logo here and that I will later on save the same signature. So look carefully and understand the steps how I use a smart trick to add logo on my signature. So I simply select here, put my cursor here, click on insert. So go to the insert tab and here select the table and I have to select only two columns and simply copy or cut the entire signature and paste here. Now I have this section empty. So here I can add my company logo. So again go to the insert. In the illustration section there is an option pictures. Click here insert picture from and I have to select my picture from my device only. So click here and here is my company logo. Select it and simply hit insert. But the problem is my lo company logo looks very massive. So all I have to do is to select the corners and drag the company logo where it look like a decent one. So it's look like a decent image now. So I can also drag according to my requirement from both the directions. Now after pulling both the dividers, my signature looks pretty decent. Now this is not the end. If I want to add some additional information, like I want to add the link of my Facebook, I want to add the link of my Twitter, it is also possible needs some additional work. So again, go to the insert, again go to pictures, this device. And first of all, I have to add the logo of Facebook as well as Twitter into my signature. And after that, I will going to associate the link with this logo of my Facebook page. So I simply double click on it. Ooh, this is very massive. So again, I have to adjust the size here. I can use the corners and my mouse to adjust the size. Like that, it's look a standard size. And the next one is I have to add the logo of Twitter. So again, the same process, select the logo. Now I have to associate this logo with the URL. So I have already copied the URL of both my Facebook and Twitter into the notepad. I simply select and copy the URL of Facebook. Go to this logo, click right mouse button or you can also use this link here. When you click here, insert hyperlink dialog box appears. All you have to do is to paste the link here and hit OK. And you have to repeat the same with the Twitter also. Select the logo, click link, paste your link here and simply hit OK. Now a part of this, there is one more thing you can also add which is QR code. Now creating your signature in Outlook which consists of link and information is quite interesting. In the current scenario, people use to add QR codes in their signature and people might be appreciated to scan the code. So I will show you step by step method how you can first of all create a QR code and how you can insert the QR code in this current signature. So for that, you have to first go to the Chrome and you have to type the QR code generator. The URL is the QR code generator.com. So here it's a very common and very simple website. All you have to do is to insert some information such as your URL, sir contact, your contact consists of all the details, your name, your email address, your phone number, your city, your pin code. And you can also add your phone number, SMS and everything. Once you have inserted all the details in this QR code, you will get the QR code like this. Now the next step is you have to insert your QR code here. So again you have to follow the same steps. 
first of all select here go to the insert tab click pictures this device and this is my qr code simply double click on it and my qr code is inserted here you can simply click right mouse button go to the wrap text and select in front of text now your signature is entirely completed but the only problem is this borders it look slightly messy so you can very easily remove this select the signature using this corner and go to the select the table go to the borders and you have to select no borders and your borders are removed and your signature looks very beautiful but the problem is this signature is not your official signature you have to copy the entire signature click control a and simply hit control x to cut the signature go to the signature tab go to personal go to signature and here your personal is already selected simply select the signature and paste here now your official created signature is pasted here you can click ok to save it and that's it click signature and hit personal your entire signature will be visible just like that in the email message you have more control over your editing into your signature you can add your images you can add your qr code you can also add the logo and the urls which is slightly difficult up here if you think that this signature is not up to the mark and you want to customize your own signature microsoft has provided few options for you all you have to do is again go to the signature and here is an option get signature template click here and it will be forwarded you to the url here is an option get templates click here and you will see email signature gallery simply hit download and you will see a word file which consists of few decent and really interesting samples you can simply select it copy it and simply paste on your outlook signature and you can modify or add some additional logos for example youtube here is uh, linkedin and you can also add your own image with your signature hopefully you have amazing signature design in front of you i hope you found this video useful and if your problem is really solved please like and subscribe to my youtube channel so you will never miss out any outlook tips and problem solvers videos i come up with i have also started a special section in which i have covered the entire keyboard shortcuts videos only for you thank you and have a nice day